Hello children, welcome to Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 9, List. Content of the session is how to create a list, how to modify a list. What is a list? Python programming language has four collections of data types such as list, tuples, set and dictionary. So I hope you remember what is data type. Data type represents the type of the data. So a Python program is able to handle many types of data. As we know already, it can be a integer, float or string. Likewise, Python is introducing four types, list, tuples, set and dictionary. In this chapter 9, you are going to learn all the four, how to create the data type, how to modify, how to delete everything. In this session, we are starting with list. What is a list? First, it is a data type. Next, is a list in Python is known as sequence data type, like strings. So, a string is a collection of characters or alpha, alphanumeric, like Python is known as, in Python, list is known as sequence data type. It is an ordered collection of values enclosed within square bracket. Do you remember your array in C++? Array is enclosed in square bracket. Here list is also a collection of value and it is enclosed within square bracket. Each value of a list is called as element. It can be of any type such as numbers, characters, strings and even the nested list. So the first list is a data type. Next list is a collection of values. Third point, it is enclosed within square bracket. Fourth point, a list can have numbers, characters, strings, even another list, list within list. Elements can be, that means elements in a list can be replaced, added, removed. So we can replace, we can add, even we can remove an element in a list. The position of an element in is indexed with the numbers beginning with 0, which is used to locate and access a particular element. As in the array, we know the elements are stored and accessed through the index value starting with 0. Same procedure is followed in list also. How to create a list in Python? In Python, a list is simply created by using square bracket. The elements of the list should be specified within square brackets. Syntax variable equal to simply within the square bracket, the elements are given. This variable is user defined. There is no any special keywords for list. How to, access in, uh, how to access the elements in the list? Python assigns an automatic index value for each element of the list begins with 0, just our array in C++. Index value can be used to access an element in a list. In Python, index value is an integer number which can be positive or negative. As you learnt in string also, there is positive or negative index value same procedure is followed for list also here marks equal to 10 23 41 75 within square bracket you must remember this square bracket is important because this square bracket alone indicates that it is a list so 10 23 41 75 are the elements Positive index means it is 0, 1, 2, 3. If it is negative means it must start with the last element minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. The same you learnt 
for string also. So here they are given a syntax as list variable equal to elements. Then print the variable with index value. Here there is an example marks equal to 10, 23, 41, 75. Print marks of 0 means first element is 10. What the index will be if you want to print the 75 number? Any guess? Yes, you are right because this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So, mark, uh, marks of 3 is 75. Loops are used to access all elements from a list. The initial value of the loop must be 0. 0 is the beginning index value of a list. We will see this with the example. Here is an example. We will work out with the ID of Python. See the example here. Same example I have given here. Marks 10, 23, 41, 75. The square bracket is very, very, very important. Then print the list name is marks. So if we run the program, we will get the output as 10, 10. All the elements in the list is printed. Just a single word print. The list name is marks. It is given inside the function print. It is printing all the elements. Even we can ask to print a single element also. How to make this? Here we have to mention the index value. If we mention the index value means it will take that particular element alone. So print it will give all the elements as it is marks of 3 the element is 75. So how to create just a name any name it is a user defined name equal within the bracket we have to say the elements. If we want to print means we can simply give print if we want a single element means we have to say the index inside the list name. So up to now up to this. Is it clear children? No. Here they are using a loop. Yes, while loop or any looping statement can be used to, to fetch the element in the list. Here while i less than 4 because it is having only 4 elements. i is starting with 0. So the while loop will move up to 3. Less than 4 means 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So, all the elements will get printed. So, you see the example here. Same program, but we are using a while loop to fetch the element. i equal to 0, while i less than 4. Then, there must be a space. This is indentation. Then, print marks of i. Then, i equal to i plus 1. Both the lines should be in the same place because this space that means this left space indicates the indentation and it shows that both the lines print and i equal to i plus 1 will come under the while loop. Now if we see the output all the elements are fetched one by one. Reversing indexing, as in string, list also having the same procedure. Python enables reverse or negative indexing for the list elements. Thus, Python list indexes opposite order. It has to start with minus 1. And this method of proceeding is called reverse indexing. Here it is given as minus 4 and it is starting with minus 1. So, minus 1 means the 75, the last value. So, the output is from last to first. So, now see the program. Same program, but we have uh, 
added the for loop in reverse indexing. So first for loop will give the display as 10 to 75. In the next while loop, we are changing the index value as minus 1 and minus 1 greater than or equal to minus 4. Here i is minus 1. So the value will get decreased. So when we give this while loop in a reverse order, it is taken in reverse indexing and the elements will come in last to first. Can you see this 10, 23, 41, 75? In this while loop, it is taken in, in from the last to the first value, 75, 41, 23, 10. So how to create the list? A variable name followed by the elements within square bracket. Then how to access means I can directly print all the elements. I can fetch only single element using the index value. Even I can use a loop to print the values. Even we can use a, a negative loop to have a reverse indexing method. Even we can have, as we know, list is a collection of numbers, elements, uh, numbers, characters, even another list. How it is possible? I'll explain. Here all the things are given us only whole numbers. Am I right? Because 10, 23, so all are in same data type. We can have a float number inside. Yes, it will accept and it is printing. Even we can have a string inside it. It is accepting. So integer is inside, floating number is inside, even a string also inside. Even we can have another list. How it is means within a square bracket, we can give another number. Can you see here? Is it clear? Float is here, integer also here, string is also here, another list also here. So list is a sequence of data. It can be a number, character and can be a another list. It can be fetched using loop. Is it possible to take in while loop means? Yes, it is possible. We can fetch without any error. Same procedure. Here, this is first index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Whole set of list is taken in one index. Yes, it is not commented properly. Why the last element is not coming means we are given the while loop um, index value as less. Can you see how many elements are here? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 elements are here. So I am giving a 6. Or else I have to give us less than or equal to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Are you able to see here 10.7, 23, 41, 75, Python and the another list. List is having another list. So you can feel that list is the easiest data type uh, which is used for manipulating different type of data in a single name. Only marks is the list name but it is handling a Float, it is handling an integer, it is handling a string, it is handling another list within that. 
So when we compare with C++, Python is introducing the easiest data type list. I hope you understood the concept. List length. So the length function in Python is used to find the length of a list, the number of elements in a list. Usually, the length function is used to set the upper limit in a loop. Now we change the while loop. Do you remember? So we can use the length function to know the yeah, total number of elements in a loop. So here we change the um, n value, that means the total number of elements manually, am I right? So instead of this, we can use the len function to find the total number of elements in a list. So len of my subject, here there is a list, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4 elements are given. So they are using the len function in a while loop and fetching the elements one by one. Even for loop can also be used to, to fetch an element. We have used while loop. For loop also can be used. But using for loop is more easier than while loop. See here, there is a list for x in marks, print x. Simply they are saying for x in marks. So take the n value, starting position, ending position, everything from the list marks. So each element in the list marks is taken one by one in the value in the place of x. First the x will fetch the first element 23, next 45. So this marks alone will take the starting position and ending position. And automatically the variable of 4 will take the element one by one. We can use instead of 5 directly we can say len of marks. What is the meaning? We are using the length function to find the number of elements or the length of the list marks. So it is giving the value. So we are using len function to find the length of the list and we are using in the while loop. So instead of taking the length function, finding the number of elements or length of the list, we can simply use a for loop. It is easier than while loop. Now see the length of while loop. Starting with i equal to 0, starting value, condition and the increment. All the three are used. But for the for loop, only a single line. For x in marks, print x. Automatically the value of x will take one by one the element present in the list marks. So when we use for loop, the program length is reduced. The first output is of while, next using for loop, same output, but the number of line is only 2. So you have to decide whether you want to use for loop or while loop to display the list values.